Hey guys, it's Steve here from Better Gamer Zone, just bringing you a quick video guide for Hitman Absolution, showing you how to unlock the blue collar challenge on mission 18, Blackwater Park. Uh, you get this challenge by using the plumber disguise to infiltrate Blackwater Park completely undetected um, and eliminate Layla and complete the mission uh, without being seen. Uh, so we'll just start off from the very beginning of the mission here, just head round to the right. Um, start the guard walking towards you by just uh, moving in front of this cover a little bit and uh, once he's uh, finished reporting that the area is clear you need to be straight up behind him as quickly as possible and then just cut in and around to the right you only get one shot at this so uh, if you don't make it you have to restart the mission give it a couple of seconds and then we're just going to head out take cover on the left hand side here move along to the end and the guard in front of us here will patrol away from us in a moment and then we're just going to jump straight over the cover and head round to the left. So once you're over, follow the road round to the left and we're just going to climb up the stairs here. There's a guard at the top of these stairs on the left um, so just be a little bit careful. Wait till he turns round and head up and over and down the set of stairs on the right here. Just duck down behind this car, wait for the guard to patrol back over to the left and then we're going to scale the cover on the right hand side there. There's a couple of ways that this can uh, can go down, either you'll be lucky and the uh, plumber will be the first one to come round the car or the guard will here, either way you won't be noticed by taking down this guard. So just take him down, subdue him or break his neck and then all you need to do just hit the car alarm again and this time it will be the uh, plumber that comes round uh, but all we're going to do just to be on the safe side as there's a guard over on the left hand side there we're just going to wait for him to patrol away because uh, the last thing we want is uh, bodies starting to pile up and risking being caught. So we'll just wait for him to patrol away on the left, which he's done now. And then we're just going to stand up, hit the car alarm, and it should be the uh, plumber that comes around this time. He'll either come around the front or the back of the car. It's a bit random. On this time, it's uh, it's the front, but uh, with that guard stood over there, he won't notice us now. So uh, just drag the plumber's body over to the right, uh, just so it's definitely out of line of sight, and grab the disguise, and uh, using this disguise you can enter Blackwater without anybody recognising you. The only area that you can't go into without trespassing is the uh, guard room. So just uh, head straight into, into the building, round to the left, and up the stairs. Grab the checkpoint uh, just in case because there's a tricky uh, guard patrol that we need to use in a moment and if you do get caught obviously you don't want to start right from the very beginning. So just head through to the um, entrance to the guard room here. We're just going to duck down behind the desk once the um, head of security has left the room. Once everyone's facing away from you just head in. And what you want to do, uh, the guard over here will patrol all the way over to the left and there's two guards left on your right hand side now. Just chuck the remote explosives that you get given at the start of the mission over to distract them. Then we're just going to use the computer to override the retinal scanner. Head back outside and uh, you won't be spotted using the elevator button or anything like that so you can head straight over for the elevator call the elevator and then we're on to section two of the mission the penthouse once we've entered the elevator so just head in hit the button and uh, after a cutscene you'll uh, find yourself on top of the elevator shift round to the left just drop down 
There's a guard just on the outside of this room, uh, outside of this door here. So just head through, take her down. You shouldn't be noticed. Then we're just going to move her body round the corner. And there's a container just to uh, dump her in. Just dump her in here. And uh, there's two ways that Layla can go. She'll either go to the left or to the right. Uh, if she goes to the right, um, all you need to do is crouch up against a box at the end here and um, wait for her to send her guards away. You'll need to take down one of the guards and then you, you're free to head in and, and kill her without being noticed. But since she's headed around to the left now, uh, we'll just head in, pick up the key card from the table, take cover in these boxes and we'll just wait for her to uh, enter the room just as she would if she was entering on the right hand side. She'll send her guards away. Two guards will head over to the right hand side of the room past the crate that we're sat in and uh, one will remain on the left hand side uh, down by the table that I told you to crouch beside if, uh, if she followed the right hand route instead of the left. So all we need to do is just wait for these two guards to head over to the right. Once he's cleared past the box, jump straight out. Uh, to be on the safe side, use the uh, fibre wire, but you can use the katana if you uh, if you do want to be inventive. So just take her down, and just to make sure that we don't get seen, we're just going to dump her body in the container here, and head round to the left. And as you can see, there's a, a guard here. You can take him down easily with the fibre wire. We're just going to move his body round the corner here just to make sure that, uh, again, we're being safe. There's no point getting this far through the mission just to trip up at the last moment. So head back into the room that we came from. And uh, if you're doing this pretty much in time with me, there shouldn't be any guard patrols that you really need to worry about. Um, but there are a couple that just patrol through here, uh, so just be extra cautious really. Head through into the elevator room, and we're just going to climb up onto the top of the elevator. And you've got the option to um, drop down into the elevator here. You need to uh, shift over to the left fairly quickly as there's uh, guards just out in the hallway here. All we need to do is a guard at the back on the left that will patrol away from the group now. Once he's uh, sufficiently left the room, break away from cover, cut round to the right using the key card that we picked up from Layla's room. Just going to head straight through the door here and the safe room or panic room that you need to get to is just round here on the left and once you pick up the phone on the bed that will unlock the blue collar challenge. I hope the video helps. Please leave any comments below and subscribe to my channel for future achievement videos. Thanks. Thank